and this is this is the AeroPress for the AeroPress Go. For comparison, here's the original AeroPress. All right, so here we go. This is AeroPress's newest product. Of course, the original AeroBee is the original company that created the AeroPress, and now they are just AeroPress. Uh, and the AeroPress, as you know, well, one of the best hand brewers out there. Very unique uh, in the way that it works. Of course, there's a, I have an entire series on the channel about the AeroPress. This is the original one, and they have now made their very second product. And interestingly enough, it's just a smaller version of the AeroPress. Uh, they call it the AeroPress Go, the better travel coffee press. Uh, so I actually haven't even opened this yet. What I'm going to do today is open this, show it to you, give you some of my thoughts. I'll do a quick brew. I can tell you from what I've seen from other people, it brews the same as the original AeroPress, so that's great. Uh, it's just in a much more compact form. So let me open it up and show you. All right, so there's some nice packaging here. Uh, Here it is. Well, that's interesting. It's actually a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. And we have a pack of filters uh, that comes with it and instructions. And this is this is the AeroPress for the AeroPress Go. For comparison, here's the original AeroPress. So. Uh, very interesting that this is billed as the Travel Coffee Press. It's, it's kind of the same size as the original AeroPress. So here's the thing. When I first saw this product, I was like, why? Uh, the, like, the original AeroPress is very popular with people uh, for traveling. And I've traveled with it myself. Um, I did uh, quite a bit of traveling internationally. Um, for several months a few years ago, those of you who have been following for a long time may recall. And I took this with me. I also took, oh, I actually have this here, my travel scale. And I don't know if I have my grinder. All right, my grinder's around here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Uh, I'm still like organizing the whole um, coffee station here. But so I was able to brew, um, tasty, delicious AeroPress everywhere I went and do it like quite accurately, uh, obviously with the scale and with the hand grinder. The hand grinder was the Porlex Mini, which is the one, well, yeah, basically the one that is well known for being able to fit in here. Uh, so that, that was quite popular amongst a lot of people. I actually didn't like traveling with it in here because um, sometimes it would get stuck and the handle didn't fit in here anyways. So, oh, never mind, I found it. Uh, here's the Porlex Mini. So this is, this is my favorite hand grinder, honestly. Uh, they have a larger version, which works just the same. It's just a little bit bigger. Um, I had to clean this guy out. I haven't used him in a while. Oh, yeah. Whew. All right. But he fits in here. Now, obviously, you got to take the band out, uh, but here's the thing. Sometimes you get stuck, and then what do I do with this? Because I need this. So, uh, personally, I prefer to just um, run like this and throw this in the bag along with this and this. And you know what? That worked fine. That worked great. Uh, filters I carried in a Ziploc bag. That was my primary travel brewing guy. And, and with this, you can make one cup. You can make four at a time. If you follow the original recipe, um, I'll link to the whole AeroPress playlist below, which this video will probably be in. If you make the original recipe, you can do four, like eight ounce cups of coffee because you make a concentrate and then you dilute or you can just drink it straight. So that brings us to the AeroPress Go. Well, it takes up basically the same amount of space as the, as the AeroPress original. Um, I guess the, the additional benefit is it comes in this enclosed container and has, like, this is a cup. Uh, let's go ahead and explore it before we judge too harshly. All right, well, let's see. This nice little silicon cap. I guess this can be a good, like, staging area. Um, this appears to be 
for carrying some filters. Oh, this is quite thin. How many filters you could carry in this? It looks like it fits nicely on top of there. So, um, filter holder and then AeroPress. And so the idea is you brew onto this. So here's the actual press comparison. So obviously the Go, less brewing capacity. Uh, still has the numbered system, so you can go up to three. It looks like it's the same width. And I believe from seeing other people doing this, you can, these are like interchangeable. Well, I don't know, uh, I'm not saying you'd want to do this, but just as a comparison of size. Yeah, it's the same size filter. Uh, interestingly, the whole pattern is different, quite different. Different feeling uh, plastic, but still plastic, still got that rubber gasket. Um, I imagine the, the, it makes sense that the brewing action is the same. Looks like you also have a scoop and a stir. Um, this being the same, this probably still fits in here. But, like, then you have to do this. All right, just for experiment's sake, I'm gonna see if this will fit in here. Well, no. So it's basically exactly the same product, but a little bit smaller and with a cup that gives you this kind of all-in-one uh, travel ability here. So, although this doesn't seal, um, just as a point of interest, I'm noticing this now. I, I was imagining this was a much more of a seal so I could throw this in a bag and not worry about it leaking everywhere. Um, but it looks like he's still going to have to dry everything out. So, I don't know. I'm, my, my opinions on this are, are torn. So here's the thing. My, my initial reaction, like I said, was one of why. Why does this exist? You can already travel with this. Why do I want this? Um, but then I really like the idea of having this kind of, um, I guess these guys fit in here, this kind of all-in-one sort of package, like minus the grinder and the scale if I want to bring that. But, okay, all this stuff fits in here, and I get a cup which is nice. I, yeah, sometimes there have been times traveling when, you know, I have to find a cup to brew into unless, you know, I travel with a separate cup. Uh, when I was traveling with this before, though, I did not because uh, I was tra trying to travel with as little as possible and always just found a cup wherever I was, wherever I was going. So you have the benefit of having the cup to brew into and this all-in-one package, but does it really take up that much less space? From, a, from like a branding product and marketing perspective, I, I understand it. Like, I think one of the biggest things that people did with the AeroPress was to travel with it. Like on the box itself, yeah, delicious coffee anywhere, and they show work, travel, outdoors. So this, uh, I mean, if you are going to travel a lot and bring a coffee brewer with you, this does look like a little bit of a better traveling experience than this. But... Is it all that different? Maybe for those who do travel quite a bit and love the AeroPress, this will be a really attractive offer uh, just because of the little bit more portable nature to it. I don't know. I, I was actually going into this with that impression that, well, it's a compact product. It's got this all, you know, all in one cased thing, you know, fit it right into your bag. But I didn't realize just how much it actually takes up the same space. This, this pretty much takes up the same space. And for the benefit of having a cup, that's essentially what we're talking about here. You might think that this can help protect from keeping like drips after brewing if you have to, can't let it dry. But um, this doesn't seal, so you're gonna have to let it dry anyways. I don't know where I stand. I'm gonna have to actually take this. I have, I have a trip coming up planned and I'm gonna take this on the trip because I wanna give you like, what is, what is the experience like compared to this while traveling? Uh, just to give you an impression. I mean, I think I, think I know it's, it's gonna be like, 
probably a little bit more enjoyable, but if you already have an AeroPress, is it worth getting one of these? Honestly, I probably wouldn't. But let's go ahead and do a brew. I'm gonna do a brew with this AeroPress and just show you what it's like. Uh, I had to go and heat up the water and everything. I also had to wash these guys. <laughs> just a point of interest whenever you get something brand new, especially something like this that uses plastic in the brew, uh, you wanna do like a, a warm, soapy water kind of wash situation. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick, just a quick brew here. I'm not looking to do an accurate brew. I just want to have like the experience. So uh, I've added my filter. I've not rinsed because I think a lot of times in um, traveling, I'm not gonna have a rinsing situation. And I'm just going to add about 15 grams. Basically I did one scoop. So I did one scoop and then I'm gonna go up to here. Now, if you're using, if you're using the original recipe, you would go uh, three scoops, up to three, and then dilute. Uh, I'm just gonna do one scoop and then brew it and consider that brewed. It's not dissimilar from the typical uh, method that I use with the original AeroPress, where I do about 20, 20 to 22 grams of coffee and then 100 grams in the cup and et cetera. Uh, uh, that's, in the, that's in the play series for the AeroPress. Point is, I just wanna show the experience. So, added my filter, we got the cup here. I'm brewing a really nice fruity coffee. This is, um, this is Conduit's uh, Myanmar. I'll link to that down below. Uh, and I'm cheating a little bit, I'm using this. Normally I wouldn't, but uh, if I was traveling, I could just scoop. So this is, the one scoop is, it's actually about 16 grams of this coffee. So I could do that, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this to make it easier. 16 grams, kind of level that out. And then I'm just gonna pour up to three and stir and press. Uh, I'm doing this on the scale because I'm curious how much this is gonna be. I'm not actually weighing this out for brewing purposes, but all right. I ended up being 180 grams of water in. And then do the thing here, take this off the scale. I'm just gonna press pretty firmly. Typical arrow press. Actually, interestingly, it feels like, I do wanna note this, and maybe it's because this is brand new, but this feels smoother. Uh, to be fair, the other arrow press I've had for years, so, you know. All right, and there we go. And it does kind of make a nice little place to put the arrow press after you're done brewing. So that whole thing fills up to about here, by the way. So I think if uh, this makes sense for the, the concentrated method. So if I were to do three scoops and up to here, I would get a little bit less liquid. You know, there's less space in here with all that coffee. Uh, but then you could fill up to dilute and have a whole cup um, with those three scoops, I imagine. Uh, let's see if the box says how much. Yeah, not quite the right brew, but that's okay. Uh, so let's see, they say one to three cups and a cup is eight ounces, so they call it a 15 ounce mug. Anyway, that's the, <laughs> that's the brewing process. Uh, obviously, that is, this is not the best brew that I've ever done, and I wasn't doing this to try to prove a brew. I've done a number of videos on AeroPress brewing, and I can definitely do better. I just wanted to show the specific experience with this. It is kind of cute having the mug. As a side note, I crammed 20 filters into here. It's a little bit full, but you can do that much, which um, is a lot more than I thought it would take. Uh, so just one last point of reference. Uh, the scoop did about 16 grams of coffee for this lighter roast. Um, so I'd anticipate 15 to 16 grams per scoop. It, going up to the three with that in there was about um, 180, 190 grams of water. As I recall from the original AeroPress, going up to the four was about 250 grams. So take with that information what you will. Uh, conclusions, it's cute. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to do some traveling with it and try it out, see if I can tell you differently about the experience. From an immediate perspective, having the mug with it is nice. Actually having this little thing to put this in after brewing seems kind of nice. That could be useful. Um, don't have to don't have to worry about this setting this on a table and getting dripping coffee everywhere. So that's kind of cute. Would I recommend buying this if you already have an AeroPress? 
Only if you travel a whole lot would I actually consider it. Uh, and, and if you travel a whole lot and travel with the original AeroPress, you might find this a little bit more convenient. I guess that's my conclusion. This, uh, this stirrer seems a little bit nicer than the other one, although I could see getting coffee. There's this like hinge. Um, there's this hinge here. I could see getting coffee in there and that being really difficult to clean. I like the, the compactness of this. I would actually travel with this stirrer. I never traveled with the other stirrer. Uh, it just seemed kind of silly. Even though it's flat and really easy to fit in things, it, it's just another thing to carry around and this fits in here. If you're, if you're really like minimalistic and efficient in your packing, uh, especially if you're like backpacking, then you might like this much better than the other AeroPress. So I'm going to be doing another video on the AeroPress Go and that's going to be actually traveling with it. Uh, so I'll tell you what that's all about. I'll compare it to uh, my previous travel experiences with the original AeroPress and I suspect my reaction is going to be pretty similar uh, because the experience of using it is pretty much the same. The result is pretty much the same. Uh, the only difference is slightly more compact uh, combination of the AeroPress and the mug. Uh, and this like sort of silicon like top thing that makes a nice seat for this after brewing. And this is nice. Before I carried my filters in a Ziploc bag. Uh, so that's the AeroPress Go. Thank you much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, thoughts, opinions, do you travel with the AeroPress? What do you think about this kind of product? Uh, here again is the AeroPress Go and the original AeroPress. So here it is again, the original AeroPress, the AeroPress Go. Of course, the AeroPress Go comes with this cup. Yeah, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. Just comment below. Let's have a chat. And if you aren't already, hit subscribe and stick around. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.